Hi guys, welcome back to Drum Dog, and in today's video, we're gonna bust another drum gear myth. Now, this is a myth that I've heard a few times from a few different people, where I've seen people wince every time a drummer puts a snare on a stand and then tightens up the basket. And the myth is this, that tightening up your snare basket too tight chokes the sound of your snare drum. Now, in theory, I can kind of understand that. that. That makes sense. The whole point is we want these things to resonate, I mean, as much as we want them to, but that kind of gripping action from those three arms could, well, choke the bottom head and your snare responses. Yeah, I never tighten up my snare drum at the bottom, um, and I have no actual evidence if that ever does any good or, or if it's actually making a difference to it at all, but I still do it because someone told me to once. Well, let's not just blindly believe it's time to find out whether this myth has any truth to it or if we're just believing people for the sake of it. So today we're gonna use a variety of snares with a variety of heads and tunings each with the basket nice and loose, so there's actually play between it, and then nice and tight, gripped on as tight as we can. Let's see if there's any sound difference. All right, all right, stop. There is so little difference in your, that was your maple custom, wasn't it? Yeah, I yeah. Mean, we've planned, we've brought a lot of snare drums here to do this, ex this experiment on, but if they're all gonna be such little differences, no one's gonna sit through this video. <laughs> you know, we've all been shut out from each other for COVID for a year. No one's gonna stay in, rather seeing their loved ones for the first time in a year and watch that video. So oh boy. <laughs> so what we thought we'd do is make the, get the most lively drum we have. Uh huh. Um, and as well as that, okay, so this lively drum we've got here is our Yamaha Recording Custom Aluminium, and it is super excitable. But that drum, as well as my custom maple, are both die cast hoops. Yep. And because we're clamping onto that bottom hoop there, I'm thinking the type of hoop may make a difference. So let's try, let's try a snare with triple flanged hoops as well, mm -hmm. just to make sure that that's not a factor. Okay, so let's use the Chad signature for that one. Yep. And we'll put a comparison together with the Yamaha and let's see if there's any difference. I'm already skeptical. <laughs>
Okay, we have now snare stand clamp tested three drums. Um, I mean, I am not hearing any difference at all. Uh, this has been a good experiment and even as a human being and a listener, you can't help but have a slight bias with these experiments before we even do them. So in order for complete fairness, I did make Ryan take a blind test with the audio, the raw audio of one drum with it clamped up and then loose. I mean, how, how did you do in your blind test? Was, could, you hear, could you hear a really big difference when... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I was proper. I, could, I, I thought I could hear a proper difference and then got it completely wrong. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you say a proper difference, I mean, how, how big a difference are we talking? What were you picking out there? It was tiny. And in between hitting the drums at certain points, even in the same thing, that I was trying to listen to the... Is that more resonance? Isn't it more resonance? Um, and I took a guess and then got the guess wrong. I think there are so many things that can make a difference to how a snare sounds. And you may think that how you clamp it on a stand is one of those things, but I would argue the point that the amount of dust that's gathered on your batter head while you're playing it will make a bigger difference to the resonance of this drum than how tight you are doing up your snare stand. Am I allowed to be bold enough to say that we have officially busted this myth? I think you can say it. <laughs> I think you can say it, and I would go as far as to agree with you, but I bet there's someone going to slam you down in the comments. I bet they've got a drum that makes absolutely night and day difference when they tighten it up. And if that person is you, then please let us know. If you're hearing something different in this video that we are not hearing, don't just keep it to yourself. Put it down in those comments and see if maybe it's making a difference to you. Okay, so if you like that video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want some full-length drum lesson packs, check out our website, drum.dog. We will see you again soon.